the pancake theorem. Oh! For any two pancakes, there exists a line that can split them in half, no matter their position, shape, or size. But first, to understand the pancake theorem, we need to understand the borsak rule theorem. Imagine two friends, Andrew and Bart, who live somewhere on Earth. Each friend feels a certain temperature, and borsak ulam theorem states that somewhere on the circle, if the two friends are at opposite points, they will feel the same temperature. How? Let's say that Andrew is colder. This graph will show us their temperatures on their journey. As Andrew and Bart travel, this graph creates a continuous function that turns a point on the circle to a value in temp. Once Andrew stops where Bart began, Andrew is now hotter and Bart colder. This means that their temp graphs must have crossed somewhere, proving the two were once the same temperature. Now onto pancakes. Imagine that pancake 1 and 2 got squished onto the xy plane. Now imagine a circle on the plane. Spearhead the circle through its center with an O line, and set B and A to be the first and second times the O line hits the circle respectively. From here, imagine a line perpendicular to the O line that cuts pancake 1 in half. Our temperature at A will be the percentage of pancake 2's area on the right half of this perp line. Ow. Following A's process, B should have the same O and perp line, but all the line's directions are reversed. This means B's value must be the exact opposite of A's. How much is on the left half? And here's our continuous function from before. borzak ulam proves that A and B will once have the same value, which is the place where the perp line splits pancake 2 in half. However, we established that this perp line splits pancake 1 in half. Therefore, we have proven that there exists a line that can split any two pancakes in half. Mm.